Hi, my name is Brad Hoover, and today we're going to be talking about chrysanthemums, or also known as mums. Now, when picking out a chrysanthemum, we have a lot of different sizes. We have your four inch container like this, we have your gallon, and then we have even bigger than that, which will kind of just give you a nice little color pop in your yard. It'll just make everything kind of really come together, brighten everything up. Uh, they're your fall to winter flowers, so they are an annual, so when they're done blooming, you want to go ahead and kind of cut them back, and then you can either wait for them to rebloom, or you can just go ahead and plant new ones. I like to plant these guys is I take some of E.B. Stone's potting soil, which is leached with lava so it never really compacts over time. It's also enriched with mycorrhiza, which is a beneficial fungi that attach to the root system and help the plants really kind of take off. So it's this recommended soil that I like to tell people about. After you're done planting them, you want to make sure you water them in nice and deep because we want to make sure that all the air pockets and all the soil is compacted down there. You really don't want too many air pockets or anything like that. Um, after we're done planting like that, I go ahead and I use some Sure Start on them. I'm going to that's a slow release fertilizer that you only have to do once a month. Once it kind of establishes and really starts blooming, I go ahead and switch over to my rose and flower fertilizer. That's really going to help promote blooms and help healthiness. Just really kind of push it along to really get the best plant that you can really have. Um, besides that, just don't let them really dry out. Water them about mm, every so often. Don't let them really get too dry because they do like their water. Um, besides that, they're very easy to take care of. Stay tuned for more videos to come. Here's a recap from today's how-to video. This how-to video is brought to you by Armstrong Garden Centers. These are the featured products from today's video. Click on them to learn more, or click below in the description for a free PDF download. Please feel free to visit your local Armstrong Garden Center for all of your gardening needs.